The lead is a dozen, three and a half to play. Oh, Dante Scott, get out of his way! <laughs> what a slam for Scott! Every basketball game I go into, just bringing that toughness, that energy, and just that grit from uh, Philly into, into my basketball life has helped me out a lot. What it means to be from Philadelphia is that you're tough nosed, you're gritty, you're doing anything to get the job done, and uh, you always have your family back. Dante's the first child of mine that actually went to college. When he started playing basketball, there was another coach trying to get his team up and running, and he introduced us to Coach Hudson. Dante had no clue about basketball. He was raw. I put Dante in the game, and he went to the table, checked himself in, ran on the court, and then ran back to me and said, Coach, you want me to play offense or defense? So that tells you how raw he really was. Dante was 10, and we moved to Norristown. He had some behavioral problems coming up, and if he didn't behave himself and do the things he had to do, he was not able to play. His behavioral problems became better because he was able to play basketball. It's not easy for every kid coming out of certain areas, and Dante has a, a tremendous family, um, but they've had financial challenges in their life. My mom was an extremely hard worker. She would leave out four or five o'clock in the morning to provide for us. At a very young age, I was taking the train, day in and day out, early mornings, late nights, because I knew that this is something that I wanted to pursue. He would travel on the train to meet Coach Hudson down 69th Street, and he would pick him up from there, and he would go and play basketball. Just traveling was 45 minutes. Just imagine a 10-year-old kid doing that. And he never missed practice. A lot of people had their doubts, but Coach Howard and my mom always just believed in me. That's what really brought me to Maryland, the family atmosphere and just not being too far from home. Just pushing me to aspire to just be something. September 2021, Hurricane Ida hit Philadelphia area, surrounding areas. We lost our family home. From the time we moved up to the 11, 12 years we were up there, we had about six floods. This is the first time it ever went up to the second level of our home. Me and the kids was there, and we kept looking down the steps, and it was rising, 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 till finally I said, we got to call the rescue. We're not going to be able to get out of here. And me and my grandkids actually had to get rolled out on boats, so it was overwhelming. I told Dante probably a day or two later after we were, you know, flooded out. I didn't actually get the first note from my mom. I got it from my coach. When it happened, and you're in that situation, knowing that there's really not much you could do at that point, just really puts you in a tough mindset because you think to yourself every day at practice, like, is my family going to be okay? Or, oh, if, if they need anything, am I going to be able to provide and help them out? Our former coaches really helped me out, especially the fans and everybody that donated because you don't really see that too often. Not too many people would have donated to people that they don't know on a personal basis. Also, the alumni got together and gave us furniture and everything. We didn't get a house till eight months after, you know, we had the flood. It was hard to find a place, and we did find a place, and I was able to pay, you know, to stay in the place that we're living in now. It was a really great support system that helped him out and helped us out. 
seeing that helps me understand why I really came here. People have your back here, no matter what, and they really see you as family. When Dante decided to come back, I was excited because I coached against him when I was at Seton Hall and he was here. And then recruiting him, I loved the type of player he was. Dante Scott, top hook shot, he got it to go. I wanted him to be the guy that was not only the vocal leader, but I wanted him to be the guy that everyone understands how we work in this program. He's the reason why we are where we are today. Driving, scoring, Dante Scott! Everybody says I'm a natural leader, and I didn't always see it. It's unbelievable just watching his growth and development from a big man who usually takes years to develop, you know, just watching him handling the basketball, shooting threes. Here's Scott for three, got it. Working on his mid-range game. Dante Scott, mid-range jumper. He is just a pure three-level score. I think he's always done what this program has asked him to do, whether it was his freshman year play center. This year, play more of a small forward. It's not easy to play different positions, not only during a season, but during a game. I had to understand that where I go, they go, and when I fight, they'll fight. Going into that Purdue game, this is what we're about. This is what Maryland is about. Score to shoot, Dante Scott with three, lets it fire up top for three, and he banked it in. I look back at the Purdue game for guys like Dante, who have stuck out and stayed here and wanted to help get this program back on the right track. And here they come in College Park as Maryland takes down number three, Purdue. To see their reaction, to see how excited they were, that's what makes coaching really rewarding. He came a long way from being a child struggling in school and having difficulties at school. He fought to overcome all the obstacles he had to get to the places he has achieved in life. When it comes down to it, if you don't fight, you know, what are people gonna remember you as?